What's up, I'm Troubleshoot. As of a few hours ago, Rust and Face Punch have officially banned the use of Reshade. And if you have Reshade installed, you'll get this error upon starting up your game or something similar. If you get fail to initialize player, fail to initialize graphics, it's likely because you have Reshade installed. This video will show you how to uninstall it from Rust. You'll find this official Face Punch blog post down below with extra info and some steps to remove it, but let's do it the quick and easy way. In your browser, head across to reshade.me. You'll find a link down below. Click download, then download the latest installer, save it and open it. Then you'll see a screen that looks like this. Simply find Rust, and assuming you haven't got testing versions and things like that installed, you'll only have one Rust and one Rust client. Simply select your one Rust client. If you're like me and you have multiple, as I have a backup, just check the file path down here to find the correct installation of Rust on your system. Once you've chosen the correct one, which is usually C, Program Files 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Rust, Rust Client.exe, click Next, choose DirectX, 10, 11, 12, which is this option here. Next once more, and assuming Reshade is installed, you'll see this here, update and uninstall. Simply choose uninstall down here, next and finish. That's it. At this point, Reshade should be completely uninstalled. Simply head across to Steam, right click Rust, choose properties, then on the installed files tab, simply choose verify integrity of game files to make sure everything's correct as it should be. Just a quick note, uninstalling and reinstalling Rust won't actually delete Reshade's files as custom files are left over after uninstalling games. Over here, I've compared a clean installation versus one with Reshade, and you can see that inside of the games folder, reshade-shaders, dxgi.dll, and these three Reshade files here are what's left after a fresh install of Reshade. If we check the face punch post, you'll also find a couple more DLLs, which could be in your game directory based on however you installed Reshade. You can choose to delete these files manually, but the easiest way is running the installer and deleting it that way. You shouldn't be banned or punished for starting the game with Reshade installed, it simply won't start at all. So once you've followed these simple steps, this error message should have been fixed, and assuming you'd still like to add some more color to your game, either do that directly on your monitor using your physical buttons on your screen, or use something like your graphics card settings where you can customize it in the NVIDIA control panel or some other kind of NVIDIA overlay, same for AMD and Intel. Anyways, that's really it for the super quick guide. Hopefully you found it useful. Thank you for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.